A blanket of snow enveloped the European Parliament in Brussels this afternoon, but even that couldn't match the chill with which the overnight news from London was received here. Even as Downing Street was naming the negotiators to be dispatched across the Channel, mandated to renegotiate and rewrite the withdrawal agreement, those they'd have to talk to were saying such talks aren't going to happen. Are you ready to sit down with British uh, negotiators and start all this uh, over again? The, the position of the European Union is very clear. It has been expressed yesterday by the President Tusk and the President Juncker will make a statement to the Parliament this afternoon. So, thank you very much. He gave the same message to leading members of the European Parliament, crucial to these talks because they must ratify any deal. And they won't if there's no backstop to ensure no hard border in Ireland. Anyway, as the Commission President explained, it's unlikely anyone here would ask them to. I have the impression that uh, some hope that the 26 other countries will abandon the backstop, and so Ireland at the last minute. But this is not a game. Ireland's border is Europe's border, and it is our union's priority. If Mrs May does come to Brussels this week or next, she will certainly be received with all diplomatic niceties. But what, some are asking, would be the point? She's always welcome. For what? To do what? Is it to uh, change the red lines that the British government has uh, used from day one? That could be a breakthrough. If there's a blame game going on, mainstream opinion here is not about to accept that they have caused a breakdown when it was London that first signed up to, but then rejected the withdrawal agreement. Newspapers across the continent, like this German headline, spoke of the UK challenging them to a game of chicken. London opening a Pandora's box, according to the Spanish. Westminster, far from reality, said the French this morning. Even if people here were prepared to renegotiate, could proposals that took 18 months to put together be rewritten to the satisfaction of London, Dublin, 26 other capitals and the European Parliament here, all in less than two weeks? So why, people wonder, might Mrs May be setting herself up to fail? And the answer, they suspect, lies more in the dynamics of Westminster than of this place. But for now, they await the arrival of the British negotiators, even of Mrs May herself but with no clear indication of who they'll be talking to or about what. James Mays News at 10, Brussels.